the new sing only style plan combines the best of both current pay as you go and pay monthly options and has thus been dubbed the flex plan Rather than topping it up as you go, the new flexible tariff will work like a pay monthly plan in which a direct debit will leave your account each month But unlike other 18 and 24 month commitments, you can change how much you're paying month by month, as well as pausing or stopping your plan whenever you like Each plan will last for 30 days, with any unused data rolling onto next month's allowance, so you can get a second chance to use it, although if you stick with the same plan, you'll get a free extra 500 MB of data reward added to your account every three months Launching tomorrow, 25th July, prices start at £10 per month, bagging you 2 GB of data 1,000 minutes and unlimited texts, reaching up to £30 per month for 20 GB of data, 3,000 minutes and unlimited texts With your plan potentially changing by varying allowances and prices over the months, it may be hard to keep track of where you're at, so EE has made it easy to check your account status on the Mighty app On the app, it's also possible to add bonus data, which will set you back £1.50 for 100 MB, £5 for 500 MB and £7 50 for 1 GB Max Taylor, Managing Director of Marketing, EE said, Our new plans give customers great flexibility and control and are unpinned by the UK's best network Customers on flex plans have the freedom to pause or change their plan at any time, with the value and simplicity offered from a traditional pay monthly plan Do any other networks offer flex plans? But EE aren't the only mobile phone network offering the flex plan, with O2 having already unveiled their version back in 2017 However O2's Flex plan will only work on upmarket handsets, such as the iPhone X, iPhone 8, Samsung Galaxy S9 and Galaxy Note, while EE's is more similar to pay-as-you-go and SIM only, not being in conjunction with any handsets GIF GIF who, unlike O2, let you join a Flex plan even without buying a handset also let you adjust your tariff each month or even cancel altogether SkyMobile have also recently joined the bandwagon, allowing their customers to adjust their data, minutes and text allowances each month, although like O2, you can't cancel Are flex tariffs really worth it? Talking about whether the new plan is all it cracks up to be, Rubik at Mobile's expert at Uswitch Com says, EE's new flex packages are a set of nice-looking deals for customers who crave the flexibility of paid contracts, but without the fuss of having to top up regularly Mobile customers are increasingly hesitant to get into restrictive 24-month contracts This new type of package offers a good middle ground for traditional paid customers who might balk at the idea of monthly payments These plans also give historically reluctant paid customers a taste of regular monthly payments, with EE undoubtedly hoping to encourage them onto SIM-only contracts down the line While the data rollover is a nice touch, customers should note that these are essentially just paid packages with a few more bells and whistles These plans do charge a premium for this flexibility with customers paying more for less data and minutes than they would get on a 12-month SIM-only deal An important thing to note for potential customers the nature of the deal means that prices will change if the cost of the tariffs go up or down 
seeing as you will be stuck with the same price points as when you signed up, as long as two years ago, going with a SIM only option might be a better financial option than a flexi tariff, as the price of data is constantly going down.